global norm for settlement is a periodic settlement model, which basically speaks about T plus whatever. Uh, globally, everybody is more or less on T3, and some of the guys are going to T2 and T1. When we started Zorex, we said, well, why, why do we want to start in the middle? Let's just turn things on its head, as we want to do. And we started at T0, because that's, that's the ultimate. That is Nirvana. Why do I say that? And I'm not saying that because it's, it comes down to speed. It's not a speed thing. Sure, it's nice to say uh, you settle in real time. Uh, it is, it, it's, it's a nice little stat. But what it does do, it completely reduces systemic risk. That domino thing, and why do I say that? Well, in our environment, by the time you are a seller on Zorex, your shares are cleared. There's no concept of going out and looking for shares, which is a concept called short selling. Uh, some of you may know that. Uh, and in interestingly enough, in, um, just prior to the 29 crash, short selling was banned uh, in the US. And then uh, sort of in the mid-20s when, when the market got so overheated, the, the New York Stock Exchange felt, well, we can now allow so short selling because this market's never going to go down. And one of the guys that made the biggest amount of money back in the 29 crash was a guy called Jesse Livermore by short selling. Now, on Zorex, we don't have that. Basically, you are able to sell a share that you technically don't own. We will not allow any shorts. Um, so if the seller is on screen, which are you guys, I know that seller is legitimate. He's got shares sitting at straight. And similarly, the buyer needs to pre-fund his account. And it sits in an insolvency remote vehicle. On the back of that, the buyer on screen actually has money in the bank account. There's no concept of, I promise I will pay. And if I can't, well then I refer you to AIG or Lehman Brothers or some third party that may or may not go belly up. So I think that, in a nutshell, is why T0 matters for us in such a big way. Because it really does reduce the systemic risk in a South African capital markets con context. Thank you.